Hi guys, Eric with the Wisco guys here and today we're going to be showing you how to do rear brakes on a 2014 Dodge Ram 1500 or Ram 1500 because it's a 14 they don't call them Dodge anymore so we're going to be doing the rear brakes both sides pads and rotors um, I got here kind of late so they already got the wheels off uh, jacked up and jack stand ready to go so we'll get right into it alrighty so you want to start here you're loosening up the slide pin bolts on the caliper oh that was the wrong way <laughs> I'm going to get this one down here. So there's two of them, and they're 10 millimeter on these Dodge Rams. At least it's 14. I'm going to loosen them up. And two. So, got that loosened up. Yes, a flathead screwdriver. We're going to use a flathead screwdriver, and we're going to. We're not. Calipers off, we're gonna put this off to the side and then uh, we're gonna get these pads out too. I was just gonna sit right there. You can use a bungee strap. You got a bungee strap? Dad says let it hang, so let her hang. Usually you'd bungee strap it to the coil spring or something like that, so but we're not gonna do that. We're just gonna be extra careful. If it falls, it falls. Helper bracket, and you want to go the correct way. Let the Lucy ready. Tighty. You guys ready? Oh, we need a bigger wrench. <laughs> oh, that was on there tight. Two of them, 221 mils for this bracket. Oh, oh I didn't want that. That's why you bungee it if you got one. So those two 21 mils are out. What you want to see on your caliper too is if your slide pins move freely, which these do. So that's good. That means your caliper slide pins are not seized. If they were seized, um, one of the brake pads would wear uh, excessively because these would uh, not float in the caliper bracket. So it wouldn't float on uh, on the rotor so just put pressure on one side or the other and accessorily wear your pad and that's not good so this is good that that is free so now you got your pads out you want to replace these uh, clips on each end and you just pop those off don't cut yourself when you're doing that just like I almost did kind of want to clean these up a little bit too before you put your new clips on so they actually slide decently you got a wire brush or like a file so we're going to try to get this cleaned up before we put the new clips on so got the new clips on here um they are uh 
different for each side and just make sure uh, on the underneath here you align the middle tabs right there with the notch that is in the uh, caliper bracket. Um, if you try to put them on the other way they won't go on correctly and you'll run into some trouble. So make sure you have your clips on the correct side of the caliper bracket. Well, you got your clips in, you get your pads in, and then uh, we're going to put this off to the side. Next we're going to get this uh, rotor off. We're going to try to I gotta get the rotor off. Pounding the heck out of it. You're probably gonna struggle with this parking brake. Just hit it as hard as you can, and, and then if you can, move the rotor around. But yeah, that was a, that was a little bit of a fight. So I hit it in the back side of the hammer, and then uh, it'll come right off after a little while. Just hit it hard. Alrighty. So we got the new rotor on. Uh, we did end up eliminating the parking brake because once we took it out, the pad just fell off and fell off there. Um, you know, to be honest, Dad, I don't know where your other pad is to, like this other. So it's probably good that we didn't eliminate that. Yeah, I know. Uh, now we're gonna start going back together. So now we're gonna take an old pad I'm going to put it on the uh, piston of the brake caliper and we're going to push this in. Now there's two different types I've come across is the screw in and the push in. And this one is push in uh, because it doesn't have, um, there should be two notches where you take a tool and, and screw it in, you know, with threads. So it's be threaded. But this one is push in, so we're just going to. Take a C clamp and the old brake pad. This is kind of like an old trick. There's tools out for it that you can use to push these in, uh, but this works just fine. Okay, see ya. Okay, <laughs> got that pushed in. Just get one more. So that's the tightest you can go in. And remove the old brake pad, and, uh, and that's set. So we're gonna put this off to the side again. And we're gonna get son of a bitch. You grab those big bolts, Dad. So we're gonna put the. Caliper bracket on with the pads loaded in it. Got a Loctite on there, that's why. Oh, oh hey, do we, we'll grab that Loctite up there. <laughs> <laughs> Put the pad on backwards. Whoops. Yeah, don't don't do that. Sticking out at us. Uh oh. Nah, I'm not the only one missing out there. Attention, guys. Attention. Can you imagine if you would have hit your brakes oh, with that? Jesus. Oh, Oops. All right, pads in correctly now. Don't do what I just did and put it in backwards. Good thing I caught that. We're gonna put Loctite on these bolts. Kyle just ran to get Loctite. Make sure what that hang. So we'll wait until Kyle gets back. Get some uh, Loctite for these bolts. I'd rather Loctite these because if you don't do it, it might back out and then your brakes going down the road like this and it's not good so got our loctite uh medium strength is what they gave us should be good it's red usually i like to use blue but we'll use red oh that that's it from when you oh, they didn't have it? Blue. no they didn't have blue oh they didn't no, have blue so I we're using red. red red medium 
Or otherwise, I'd have to buy a big container. I don't want to do that. Oh, this is blue. Yeah, it's blue. Oh, <laughs> it's in a it's blue, but it's in a red container. So. Oops. I got the Loctite. Put a little Loctite on there. Tighten up. There you go. He just didn't have it. It was oh, the, Yeah, the clip. You gotta take it off and oh, yeah, I gotta go with this under. Like that. Yeah. Yeah. Tap it. Is it on there? Let me tap it. No, don't tap it. Don't tap it. You don't need to tap it. I got it. I'm trying to wind this up here. Give me a spoon. Get that bugger in there. Hold on. There. Yeah. I give it a tap and it works. <laughs> oh, okay. You got the other one in? No, give me the other one. Booster, I just stop one here. Yeah, that's good. That's good. That's good. Is that the spring joint? Is that the thing? Tighten that down. Oh, yeah. You see it? It's on the bottom. Oh, yeah. That's it. Now it's tight. It's free flowing. So you're good there. That's what you want. So we're all done. Got her there. Uh, like I said, we did eliminate the e brake. It's all in there. But yeah, not too bad. Um, you know, we, we live in northern Wisconsin, as some of you guys know. Some of you may don't know or do not know that, but um uh, we get pretty rusty up here, and uh, I've eliminated the e-brake before on my old Ford, so I just, I didn't want to mess with it, and I didn't want to wait for the parts to come in, so he just eliminated it. He doesn't even use the e-brake anyways, so it's an automatic truck too, so not like a big deal, but yeah, got her all done, looking good. And there's, uh, Put together nicely so so like i said we're all done i'm um, just gonna get the wheel back on once you get that on then you're set to go um, when you go to hit your brakes from pressing in the uh, caliper um it's gonna go right to the you know it's gonna be pretty spongy you just work it a little bit you know tap it push it you get it uh get the pressure back up but um after a little bit the the pedal will come up and you'll have that positive field pedal I just wanted to add that in there. Um, but yeah, we're gonna we're gonna finish up this other side, and I get the wheels back on. But yeah, you guys already know how to do that. We just did the nitty gritty of it. So it's a great day. <laughs> it's a great day. Brakes are getting done. So they're gonna work on this side. It's the same as the other side, so no different there. Um, but yeah, if you uh, this video helped you out, or if there's anything you want to add to this video. Um, just throw it in the comment section below. Um, I want to thank you guys for watching. Definitely subscribe if you haven't already. Um, and if this video helped out, like I said, just give it a give it a like. Thanks, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.